folks. <clears throat> Good evening. Good to see you all on here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are uh, had a good day, had a productive day. Uh, we got a lot done around here. Uh, now, here's the other thing. You can, you can only see like this section. Um, if you were to look that way, that's full of boxes and hanging clothes and all kinds of stuff. And if we look back over this way, there's even more boxes piled up and stuff over here. And beds are disassembled and uh, closets are cleaned out and lots and lots and lots going on so uh, yeah stuff's getting done uh still looking like our closing for the house will be on the 31st new year's eve so that's the plan and uh we'll we'll see if it goes that way if not we'll figure something else out but there we are uh hope you are doing well uh, we've had a long day uh and we're ready to wind this day down uh, it's good to be with you on here just like this i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna be on here long tonight because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. So, um, but that's all right. Uh, we uh, we got stuff done. We got some more to get done tomorrow. But um, uh, before we do that, I want to remind you Wednesday, um, tomorrow, there'll be no services. Uh, we've decided to cancel those services both uh, the Wednesday before Christmas Eve and then we'll do the Wednesday before, Chris before New Year's Eve. Uh, but we'll then get back into our regular schedule. And so we'll have Sunday service on January the 3rd, our New Year's New Year service. And we'll be taking communion together and all that good stuff. Uh, and then we'll get right back into a, a normal, regular schedule, uh, office hours, all that good stuff. All right. So if you need anything, text us, call us, let us know. We're available. We're just not in the office. Uh, but we are available. Okay? Uh, so let us know. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I want you to watch a quick video as we uh, get ready to go into our prayer time tonight and uh, I, I came across it um, a couple days ago uh, in some study time and thought it was absolutely great and so I want you to watch this video and we will uh, get ready uh, for this time tonight good to see you all on here Betty and Diane and Judy and, and Paula and other others on here as well but uh, watch this video as we uh, get ready to go to our Lord in prayer and uh, we will be right back as soon as it's done. it's a great word uh, we place ourselves in your hands it's a good reminder uh, as we get ready to end the year 2020 and step into 2021 um, 
and uh, what a great place to be at as we start a new year, a new calendar year. Um, but know that we're never away from him. We're never away. He never leaves us. He doesn't forsake us. Uh, God is always, always there. And as we say the Lord's Prayer, uh, we, we're reminded of that, that he is with us. He is watching over us. He is guiding us and directing our steps. We just need to open our eyes and acknowledge him so that he can do what he wants to do in our lives. Well, folks, let's say this prayer together, and I want to wish you a good night and give you blessings before we, before we say goodbye. As Jesus was teaching his disciples and those following him on the mountainside how to pray, he said, and when you pray, pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Well, like I said earlier, it's always a blessing to be able to, to end our night just like this saying the Lord's Prayer together, taking some breaths, winding down from the day. And then I want to wish you blessings tonight, that the Holy Spirit would envelop you and watch over you as your physical body rests, that he would bring your spirit peace, and that he would revive your hearts and souls again, so that tomorrow, as we have opportunities, we'd be ready to share the good news of Jesus. Guys, love y'all. Appreciate you. Have a blessed night. If you need anything, we're just a phone call and a text away. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we're working away over here and, and looking forward to great things. And I'm excited about what God is going to do with, with our church. This new year is exciting. New beginnings. Uh, freshness. Uh, and so let's continue to cry out to him and to pray. Uh, I won't see you tomorrow, Wednesday. Remember, there's no services tomorrow. If you come by the church, uh, you might catch Judy in the office. I don't think, I'm not sure. Uh, you won't see me, and there'll be no service at 6.30, okay? Uh, but we will be back on Thursday morning. Um, I'll hop on here really quick, because that's supposed to be our closing day and walkthroughs and all that fun stuff. Um, but I do want to hop on and, and wish you guys a good morning and a, and a nighttime blessing as well uh, as we say goodbye to 2020 and hello to 2021. Well, love y'all. Appreciate you. Have a blessed night. Find a place of rest and find a place of peace. And uh, we will see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.